This is called ritual. It's about revealing hidden things and performing acts which to the uninitiated seem trivial, but to the believers have meaning. They put on their ritual scarves to symbolize changing from one form to another in order to form this community which is going to reveal what's under the fourth scarf. But first, they're communing with their aura and discovering themselves individually. In this experiment, I use um, deep breathing together, which is a way to find unity in your individuality. And now we've revealed the rocks. The rocks have special meaning. And there's certain things that must happen. The listening to the rocks, paying attention, and wondering if we understand what the rocks are going to tell us. And what types of commands are you giving them at this point? Very uh, straightforward commands. So basically, they're intuiting the the um, the depth of their actions. And so when I, when I'm telling them to you know pick up the rock, and then to uh, listen to the rock, it's in fact the um, terp person, the terp player. Who's, in, who's giving the, the, the thing that ritualistic feeling, which is interesting because they're discovering it. And now the rocks are going to get baptized. But I'm not telling them to, I mean, aside from having them uh, take deep breaths together from time to time, I'm not telling them anything that, that this is a ritual or that um, they should be solemn or I'm not giving them any mm -hmm. emotional um, overlays. They're doing that, I mean, because it does look very ritualistic to me, but they're doing that just on their own interpretation, which is really quite lovely. So yes, the rocks have some kind of message, and now the message is come, come true. This means me, and this means us together. And this is the universe. So this is what the rocks have told them. I can be me. I can be together with us. And together we can be in line with the universe. <laughs> <laughs> so as they repeat this, I think they repeat it three times. It becomes even more sort of um, glorious and solemn and glorious. They kind of look like they're praying, don't they? And there we have the, another deep breath, which internalizes their togetherness. And the baptized rocks are coming together in unity. <laughs> But they're just hearing, they're, they're, not, they're not hearing um, unity, they're just hearing... Pick up the rocks. Pick up the rocks and, and hold them up and put, put them together, exactly. And I, I like the, idea, the feeling of curiosity. Each time they lean forward to look at the rocks, you feel that the curiosity is never ending, even though they're just rocks. And kept bringing the, the activity to a close. And they look very meditative. Do you feel like after the, this particular experiment, did the participants mention? Look how happy she looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the, the people felt um, very relaxed and open mm -hmm. after that. Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting how um, you were saying that you were giving them very specific directives mm -hmm. and that they imbued it with this 
yeah. ritual aspect. Exactly. They didn't know. They didn't even know the name of the of the experiment. So they had no. They had no idea what they were going to be doing, which is really what Turp is all about. You have no idea what's going to happen to you, and then suddenly you can be. You can find yourself in this complete meditative state. So you can find yourself exhilarated, um, or meditative, or sweaty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 